Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I'm going to look at some hooks uh, that I've had for uh, years. <laughs> uh, I just never did a review on these hooks. Uh, the ones on the right that have the gray on them are yarnology hooks. They are from Hobby Lobby. And then the one that is pink on the left is a prim hook. Now all of these hooks are designed exactly the same. They're not made of the same materials though. So I was gonna get into all of that and compare the two uh, crochet wise. So let's get started. So they are approximately the same length. I do believe the prim is a little bit longer. I'm going to measure them. Look at it straight on because I feel like I will get a better measurement if I do that. They're both almost the same. The prim is slightly longer. Uh, it's almost at a six and a half, whereas the Yarnology is more at about six and a fourth inches millimeters wise. I will flip that over for you to see. There you have it. So size wise, they're very similar. They are both the same style. So the pink one that is closest to me, right here, this is Yarnology and it is a four, I believe. Yes, it's a four mm, has flowers going up either side and that is plastic that is not the rubberized. The plastic that is on the hook is the flowers on the side. So it splits that up, which I think gives it uh, better gripping. The prim has the same thing except it's not in flowers. It's just in a diamond shape on the sides. It has its side uh, embossed on it whereas this one is just on there. It's just on there like a, a vinyl type addition to the hook. This is embossed on the rubberized section of the hook. And they're both plastic, so the Yarnology hook is, it feels more like a 3D print plastic. Uh, and this one feels more like uh, high quality as in like a clover plastic, but not as nice as clover. But it's a thicker, I feel like maybe it was made at a higher temp. Uh, it's just a really hard plastic. You can see the join on the prim here where they connected the hook to the, the, uh, the neck. And I can't see that on the Yarnology one, but I feel it is definitely there. It's just hidden by this. They are almost identical in head. The prim is, uh, it's just higher quality. It's just higher quality material. That doesn't mean it's better. It's just higher quality material. It's like comparing the clover that I did to the Yarnology hooks at Hobby Lobby. Clover is just a higher quality. So I'm going to work them up a bit. As you can see, I have three other of these sizes. This one is an H or a five. This one is an I or a 5.5. And this one is a J or a six mm. So I have a small set of the Hobby Lobby ones, and that is because they are very affordable. I can't argue with affordability. That's just something that will always win. So I'm going to pull out some ice yarns. This is their denim. I don't even know if they still sell this yarn, but it is really awesome. And I actually picked it up to work up with my a uh, box of yarn that I picked up at Hobby Lobby years and years ago with all the different color 
balls of yarn, the river washed ones. I haven't used them yet because I like looking at them. They are just as much a decoration and uh, beautiful as they are a, a project in the future. They are potential sitting on my table. That's how I see all my yarn. When I said that to my mom one day, she laughed at me. Um, she said she would probably go crazy with all the yarn that I have. And I said, I have a hard time using it because once I use my yarn, that potential is lost. And until then, it's a ball of potential. <laughs> like it's, it's waiting to be something amazing. But my mom doesn't like to keep a lot of stuff around, so. I, I don't either, per se, but yarn is an exception I do make. On the Yarnology hooks, I have always been able to feel the yarn on the neck of the hooks. It does have a bit of a drag, and that could be a plus or a minus for you. But you can probably hear it. And sometimes, I mean, sometimes that's wanted, right? Sometimes we want to go slower and be deliberate about our stitches. But there is a definite drag. So if you're looking for speed, unless maybe you take a light, light sandpaper to this, a really fine grade sandpaper or a file, figure you know, out file, maybe get off some of that roughness. I've only used this hook for a few hours in the past. I had picked it up at Hobby Lobby as I did my other ones, A out of curiosity and B because I needed a hook with me at the time. I will have to see if they can still sell these. I feel like I bought the pink one not even that long ago, so I'm sure they still sell these hooks there. I used to not enjoy the hooks uh, back in the day, but after working with the Omi hooks and Furl's hooks with the longer necks, I have come to appreciate these type of hooks more. I think this is a good hook. Like I said, I have used it in the past. Um, it does have drag on, on the neck though. I love the hook heads to these. They are A+. Plus. They are very similar to Clover. I do like the hook heads on those. I'm gonna work with the prim for a little bit. Prim's um, covering here is more grippy. Feels more like a clover hook. And they are more smooth of a, the neck of the crochet hook. They are much smoother. I always mean to pick more prims up when I am at Michael's, but they are often out of the sizes that I commonly use, like H and I. That is why I own a G hook. Because they don't they have the large, larger sizes, you know, like you know, eight, nine. But um the common sizes are usually sold out, and I don't think they restock very often. Yeah, this is much smoother. Not that that's a surprise to me, because I have used both in the past, but I was asked to compare them, and so... Compare-wise, as far as handles go, they are identical with working with them. Like I said, this prim has a little more of a grip. The hook overall is just a higher quality. And that's not to say the Yarnology one is junk because I own several of them. 
four of them right now. It's just to say it's not as high of quality as a prim, but it's also not as high of a price. If I were to decide which ones I would want to use, like if someone said, hey, you can only use prim or you can only use that urinology, which, which one do you want? You're going to use it. That's it. I would say prim. But overall, I think they are so similar. It's a choice you have to make. And if you appreciate the longer necked crochet hooks, you will like both. It's just a matter of which ones that you want to afford. They stitch up nicely. I have some knitting, prim knitting needles that I did not love. I can't remember why. I think it was the plastic drag on them that I did not like. I don't remember. I would have to find them and see if I still own them, give them another try to give them a, a fair, fair shake, but I like their crochet hooks. I think it's easier to use the prim just because it is more smooth. So I'm wondering if I hit the your analogy hook was something and it had less drag if I would appreciate it more because they're they are almost identical like it's just the drag is all I'm noticing as a difference between the two uh, this hook is a little bit lighter not by much though I like the colors of the Urinology ones as well, and I like the flowers on the side. So there, it's a toss up to me, but like I said, if someone made me choose, I would choose Prim. But either way, they both work for me and I like them both. So uh, there's a higher quality to the Prim. So rating them, I would say probably Yarnology 7, Prim and 8, just for the smoothness. So yeah, go check them out. I know Michael sells Prim. I know you can get Prim other places online. Uh, and they do sell knitting needles as well. The Yarnologies are only available at Hobby Lobby because that is their brand, Yarnology. I did use a file on this and made it way smoother than it was before. It's still not as smooth as the prim, but it is miles better than it was, just hitting it a little bit with my file. I did work with the yarn after I filed it and it is more smooth. So thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate you until next time.